In this video, we're going to talk about what is a unit vector. Okay, so let's say we have a vector. Let's call it A. Okay, and it is equals to three, five, six, right, for example. Okay, so how do we find the magnitude of a vector in the first place, right? So this is how we find the magnitude. Right, the magnitude of A is 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 6 squared and square root. Okay, so that's just going to give us square root of 9 plus 25 plus 36. And that will be 70, square root of 70, right? So obviously, this is not 1. Okay, so a unit vector is basically a vector with magnitude one. Okay. Okay. So let's say I want to find a unit vector of A, right? So what does that mean? Okay. So right now we can see that the magnitude of A is square root of 70, right? So the unit vector of A basically means I want to find a vector, okay? So let's say this is a vector, something like that, okay? So this vector has the same direction as A, and the magnitude of this vector has to be one, okay? So this is one unit. Okay, and we can actually write the unit vector of A as this, right? So you see that there's a little hat on top of the A, right? So this represents unit vector of A. Okay, so now how do we calculate the unit vector of A, right? So how do we find such a vector? Okay, so first of all, we need the magnitude of A itself. Okay, and this is the formula, right? So I can take one divided by the magnitude of A times A itself. Okay, which is 3, 5, and 6. Okay, so this will be 3 over square root 70, 5 over square root 70, and 6 over square root 70. Okay, so spend a minute and calculate the magnitude of this new vector. Okay, and let me know if it is equal to 1. Okay, so let's try to find the magnitude now. Okay, so to find the magnitude, I'm going to square everything. Okay, and I'm going to square root that. Okay, so that gives us 9 over 70 plus 25 over 70 plus 36 over 70. And you realize that we will get square root of 1, which is 1, right? So that's what we're looking for. So indeed, this is a unit vector of A. Okay, so this is how we calculate unit vector. Okay, so if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.